Hollywood, the town where Courtney Clift would love to work. She's just graduated with a degree in fashion journalism. But taking that next step is a daunting prospect. I think it's pretty common knowledge that if you want any kind of good job, you know, in 2013, you got to fight for it, especially as a recent grad. But her chosen profession is changing rapidly. Newspapers are closing and journalism is moving online. With like the explosion of like blogs and websites and stuff, I think a lot of people are thinking these days that, oh, you can get a job at any of these kind of sites. You can write for those sites if you want to write for free. With college debts amounting to more than $22,000, Courtney wants a job that comes with a salary. So were all of those years spent studying worth it? In middle class America, that's kind of the standard to go from high school to college. Um, I think it's kind of expected of you now. Do you feel empowered in the way that you thought you would? Yeah, I think I do. I, I, I feel empowered having that degree. Um, and I think it's also something that is really necessary getting a job these days. Idealistic, but realistic. And for this graduate, the dream lives on, especially in Hollywood. Lunch. But these young girls have serious business on their minds. Tasha Darianto is a 21-year-old fresh graduate on the hunt for a job. She says it's much easier to find work in Indonesia now than it used to be because the country has changed so much. I think to get a job in Indonesia today, the system is more fair in the sense that you don't need connections. If we send in our CVs and we meet the requirements, we have the same opportunities as anyone else. <laughs> Most of Tasha's friends have already found work, but she still spends her days scouring for jobs online. Tasha's holding out for her dream to work in an NGO. But while she wants to move up in life, it's not all about making money. In the future, of course, I would like to have my own apartment and a car. But I think what's more important is to have my own investment. It's not about how much I spend. It's about how much I save. These young girls have a bright future to look forward to. But they're the lucky few. Millions of Indonesians <laughs> never make it to university and could never dream of the life Tasha and her friends have planned.